All right, Dave, so tip number 17 is, what are the various kinds of lobs? I don't want my staff thinking they're just one easy routine lob. So I'm gonna use you as a guinea pig. I'm gonna put you over there and show you the variety of lobs, five different types of lobs that I hope my staff will learn, All right? So go on over, you'll be the guinea pig. All right, Dave, so I'm gonna show you five different kinds of lobs I hope my people can feed. The first one is just an easy lob. We'll call it a green. Something that's high enough, it's gonna let the player strike the ball from well inside the box. And frankly, that's the most commonly fed lob. But it's not the most realistic lob. So now I'm gonna show you a yellow, something that pushes a player like you just behind the line. You're not wounded. This is still a shot you can hit, but you probably wouldn't kill it at a 10. Okay, that's the yellow lob. All right, come back in. I'm gonna want my, my feeders to be able to do a red, okay? Something that's not a clean winner, but it's gonna challenge you quite a bit. It looks deeper, it's high. Now you're on the run, baby. You have to do a kick step and I wound you a little bit. All right, come on back. There's another red. Okay, so those are three core ones, but now I'm gonna show you one that I really believe is worth practicing a lot for the player, but a lot of pros can't deliver it. It's the between shot, I call it the tweener. It's not a volley, it's not a lob, it's the most choke shot in tennis, and it looks like this. I throw it up there, and I give, that's the kind of lob that I want my feeders to be able to deliver, because I want my, here's a regular drive, and look at this one, all right? So that tweener is huge, and not a lot of my rookie feeders can feed that, so practicing it, I'm labeling it, give it a name so that we all know about it, and then I'm gonna show you the fifth kind of specialty lob that I want my players, my feeders to be able to deliver. Check it out. All right, so Dave, this is a specialty lob. You only really need to deliver this lob when you're playing or have really good players on the other side, but I'm gonna hit a topspin lob to you, but I'm gonna do it by slamming the ball into the ground and creating a lot of topspin, ready? This is gonna challenge you. That ball is really coming down quickly. And for the better players, if you were like a 5-0 player and I'm feeding that lob right there, frankly, that's not enough. That doesn't challenge them. So by slamming it down, getting a lot of topspin, and this frankly takes quite a while to learn, okay? You gotta feel just where to hit it, and I can push this person back. I'm gonna push you really far back this time, okay? I'm gonna push you a little shorter. I've done this so I can feel the difference, but that shot, that specialty feed for the overhead is huge, especially when it comes to playing uh, or feeding better players.